Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to create some really quick and easy hairstyles that you can do for school or work or wherever you're going. I'm just using my sister because it's a little bit easier. For the first one, I'm going to take about half an inch back. I'm just going to twist it and then pin it with a hair tie. A hair tie, a bobby pin, I mean. <laughs> and you just want to go ahead and do this on both sides. I find this is just a nice way to kind of get the hair out of your face if you're going to school for a test or if it's really hot outside. So that's the first one, it's very simple but yeah. So for the next one I'm doing a similar thing. I'm going to do, I'm going to braid two pieces on each side of her head. When you do this you want to make sure that you're braiding it um, kind of towards the head instead of downwards, otherwise you're going to end up with this bulge. So you can see here I'm braiding kind of against her head opposed to downwards. This is because when you pull it back to secure it, it um, you won't get this big bulge. So you can secure it either by tying it um, at the back or pinning it like I am. So I'm just taking bobby pins like I did, similar to the last hairstyle, and just pinning it back. And here I'm just loosening um, the ends of the braid. So again, you get this really cute hairstyle that's kind of out of your face. For the next one, I actually ran out of, um, I don't know what happened, my camera must have like not done it or something, but all I did is I parted it on the side and I parted it about two inches back and then I Dutch braided it downwards. Um, pretty simple, I put in a ponytail and then just secured it back. And yeah, you want to make sure you loosen the braid at the top just to kind of make it look a little bit more messy. And then you can also take a piece of hair like I did here and just wrap it around the ponytail and put, pin it with the bobby pin. So for the next one, I kept the same braid and all I did is I pulled the ponytail downwards and into like a side ponytail. You can leave it like this or you can do what I'm about to do here where I just create a hole in the middle and twist the ponytail through it and this creates kind of a topsy-turvy effect. For the next one I'm keeping the braid again, all I'm going to do is I'm going to twist the hair at um, the, the nape of her neck and then I'm just going to tie that into a hair tie to create like a little bun down at the side of her, the nape of her neck. And the next one I'm taking the braid apart and all I'm going to do is just pull it up into a normal hair tie, can, um, ponytail sorry. You can make this as loose or as tight as you would like. So once you've put your ponytail up, I'm taking a section of hair and I'm just going to braid that. This is about probably an inch or two inches. It depends how thick you want your braid. Just secure that with a little hair tie or a bow fit or something. And then I'm just going to pull the top bit into a messy bun. And then I'm just going to wrap the braid around it and pin it with some bow pins. Play around with it until you get it how you would like it. And that's that one. So for the next one I'm doing is I'm parting her hair on the side and really loosely just braiding it. This is very similar to a hairstyle that Miley Cyrus wore once that was very popular. Um, you just want to loosen up all the hair at the top and the braid and so you get this really nice loose kind of side braid which I think is really cute. Next one I'm again pulling it up into a ponytail. I'm just going to tie this off again and loosen it up. And then I'm taking a section again, similar to the one with the bun. And I'm just going to braid this like I did before. And instead of doing a bun, I'm just going to wrap that around the ponytail. So this is um, kind of a nice way to jazz up just wrapping your hair around your ponytail. For the next one, I'm actually doing a waterfall braid, which um, I can't really explain while it's sped up. but. I figured that I should show you guys just in case you did want to see a kind of an extra tutorial on this because this one is a little bit more complicated than all of the ones I showed in this video. So I thought I would do it and show you guys and then if you guys would like to see a separate tutorial on how to do a waterfall braid then I will definitely show you because it does look really awesome. You'll see in a second when I show the back of her hair. So 
So as you can see, you get this really cool waterfall effect. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.